what is a lie can an untold truth be attributed as a lie the sound of tide of lies for me is a miscellany of untold truths and told lies tide of lies is a journey of maria a journey which came into her right from the early stages of pre production i was very sure that i'm going to be using location sound recording for this film considering the logistic and artistic reasons uh, provided the film is shot in two different countries and the post production might be happening at either one of them as a student project our main challenge was uh, to use the equipments they had there uh, we didn't have that much choice we have only um, some basic equipments uh, like a boom mic and a, a, a basic recorder and some lapel mics which been used by many students and and some of them were like really used ha- or handled without a proper care main challenge was to use what we have and we build up all the scenes according to the equipments we had the environmental and ambient sounds of india and uk are very different and we have creatively used it as a part of our narrative as well we had the first schedule we've been we've been doing indoor shoots in uk almost all the house been built all the windows you know the walls everything been been kind of soundproofed you can't hear a single sound coming from outside road or anything if you see in our movie the main sound you will be hearing like the ambience or the reflection of the room they don't have air conditioning there so they have heater sometimes you can hear the boiling sound or sometimes the water is running through the pipes and all that thing like a radiator is there so there is a kind of a, a buzzing sound there so i was communicating this with shemin uh, so he wa- he wanted more of a, um, the performance or the ex- uh, you know overtones of the uh, you know uh, of the actors and actresses keeping that in my mind i been uh, using lapels sometimes i been using boom mic so for the first schedules because of giving more importance to the overtones i i i had to use lapel mics maria is a character who is emotionally detached from other characters and she's very much isolated Uh, so we have used a close miking system mainly focusing on uh, on her dialogues and emotional overtones uh, but when she comes to india she is slowly developing an emotional strong bonding with bhanu and through the, through her she is developing a interaction with nature so our usage of sound is also pretty much changing we are mostly used boom mics and rarely any lapels for the scenes in india considering the fact that she may need it evident ambient sounds and the strong presence of environment tide of lies is an independent production with a very constrained budget though it can be treated as a difficulty i would rather call it as a blessing in disguise uh, there are few scenes which could have been visually an expensive rent but this kind of made us think creatively and manipulate this scene which is described entirely through sounds I mean a scene is entirely created through so- sounds juxtaposing over another visual which gives a very creative interpretation of the usage of sound we have used a camera perspective miking proportional to the focal length of the lenses shen was conscious about this fact when developing the shooting script not to have any significant dialogue in the wide shots but emphasizing it's emotional quotient using closer shots uh, a location which was very exciting to me was madhusudan's house we developed a third dimension of space using a creative manipulation of sound where we play uh, distant sounds coming from a temple like music and bells and percussions uh, which gives an illusion that a temple exists nearby the house which gives a different dimension to the location explaining about the you know place where the house exists which kind of gives a connection between the characters and the location structuring of the sound is traveling along with maria in the initial stage it's an interaction between noiselessness isolation and her inner reactions as the as the movie goes she is interacting with people interacting with a nature when she is back she is carrying all those tonalities with her she is more expressive about her emotions that emotions interact with nature and that reveals what she is